Oh, no, I dropped everything. Like me holding this bag? How you like my bag? You like my little bag? Let's go shopping. Roll all these guys over like that. I'll open all the doors up. Don't forget, kiss each other doors. Kiss each other. What's up, you guys? It feels so great to be back in the office. You know, the last few videos I've been doing while I'm on tour and I'm back in the office for like three days max. So I gotta cram out tons of reviews for you guys. And you know, I'll be back in May. But until then, I hope I have more videos for you guys. But anyway, check it out. Yeah? Welcome back to Bring Me Up Scotty. I'm Scotty. And today, look, we're gonna do a three in one video because these are kind of small, but this is really cool. A lot of you have been ordering from the store. These are available on BrickMeUpScotty.com and they are a local brand called Royal Toys. Yes, Royal Toys. It's a lot better than Panos Hwange Henzing Bao. I like the name Royal Toys. It makes you sound like a king or a queen. What's really cool about Royal Toys being that they're based in Hong Kong is that they're making objects that are here that we see every day in Hong Kong. So if you're hesitating about buying alternative brick brands and you want to just give one a shot, you can try these guys out because they are cheap. And the other thing is that they're actually part of the Panlo series. You've seen me done a couple of reviews. These are Panlo's bricks. I think they work together with Royal Toys. So if you like Panlo's, you'll like these guys. It's totally fine. We'll start with this one here. We'll start with the minibus first. So this is Royal Toys Hong Kong Light Bus. RT02, 696 pieces. So as I mentioned, we do have stock. This is the box to show you guys what it looks like. Yeah, it's a nice box. I'm so sorry. We had to take it out and send it to you guys and destroy the box. But at least you can pause the image here and know that this is what it looks like. Yeah, it's a pretty big box, man. Okay, the first thing about the minibus is the size. I like the size. I think it's actually pretty cool. It almost seems like it's maybe a little bit scaled bigger to minifigures. I'm happy to say that the bus actually feels like it's brick built. You can see the side there. It doesn't feel like a giant plastic piece on the bottom. And kudos to you guys, Royal Toys, for doing it like that. And it rolls okay, it rolls pretty nicely. Now the build itself is a little bit fragile on some parts. You know, you have to be careful where you push here and there. Otherwise, let's take a look at it, yeah? The overall colors of the bus itself is great. It's just like the real thing. We'll start on the front of the bus. The first thing you'll notice that it uses tons of stickers and the front kind of has this crazy slope with the glass there, the design, and that's because the front windshield is actually part of the rooftop. And as you can see on the side, there are no windows there. Where are the windows? I think that was a design thing. They couldn't find a way to figure out how to make the windows fit in there, the angle. Yeah, you're not supposed to really tilt those. It still looks pretty okay. I like the front of it. I like the sign on the top, Mong Kok. That is a really cool destination. If you're coming to Hong Kong for your first time or if you've never been, you gotta hit up Mong Kok. Lots of shops, everything you can think of. Look at the tile on the front there. This one's kind of dirty. Gotta clean that off. The front of the actual bus looks okay right here and the headlights, that's cool. The window does tilt, so you know, you can like, if you really wanted to, you could tilt it up, but you know, it's just the placement there. They kind of have to go in that kind of angle and straight down. The real one is a little bit more rounded off there. Yeah, the license plate could have looked a little bit better. Just a plain text down there. Okay, so we come to the driver's side. He has a door handle, but no door. Ah, oh, design thing, right? Couldn't put a door there, and that's okay. The real minibus does have a door there, of course, so the driver can go in. But this time, he'll have to go in where the passengers go in. And there's that long, that's a super long piece of sticker right there. But that is almost exactly the same as the one you see in real life. The one thing I don't like about these stickers is that they're going over the tiles. That means, man, you have to really decide if you want to use them or not. Because if you're going to take it back apart, yeah, you know, it's going to get stuck on there. Damn it. This sticker just describes that you're using a gasoline minibus. No more diesel. Save the environment, good for them. You know, I'm actually pretty impressed how small the sticker is and you can still read the text. It says emergency engine stop. Press button underneath to stop engine. That's it, man. Just some windows, got a little thing that looks funny underneath. That thing right there, that's an exhaust pipe. That is kind of weird. Looks like that was taken out from the alien set. Okay, I guess that's what they want it to be. So here's the bottom right here. It's solid now, but sometimes when you push down on this thing or you push up on it, it might loosen up some tiles. Kind of have to adjust it once in a while. Flaw, I'm not sure. You know, you're not gonna probably play with it too much. Maybe your kids are, and they'll destroy this thing real quick. The back has an emergency door. It doesn't work, by the way. Look, it's just on these, I don't know what, the, what to call these things. It's like on a pipe and these two little arms. It can pop off easy, but so far it works like a charm. But with it being loose like that, you have a little bit of a gap on both sides. 
can't be avoided. The more stickers there. Now that plate looks a little bit better just because it has two little dots to make it look like a license plate. And it has a couple more stickers there. And then you got the headlights and that is the back, yeah. On this side of the bus, you got the doors where the passengers go on. The door is actually kind of hard to open and close with the rooftop on. If you take this off, which can come off, which is great. It's a lot easier to function. I'll show you guys in a second. If I can actually try to use my finger like that. Yeah, it's kind of weird how this door opens and closes. It's like a folding sliding door. Ooh, look at that tile on the rooftop. Nice and smooth. So we'll take the top off right now. Pull it up, if you can see, it comes off just like that. Yeah, modular bus. It looks so weird like that. It looks really wrong. That's what I'm talking about here. This piece takes off the whole windshield. Kind of maybe would have preferred the windshield to be built into the bus itself. This is solid. They have like a speedometer here. It's kind of like part of the rooftop so you can see how fast your minibus is driving you. Of course, these guys drive like maniacs. Yeah, look at the inside. So the good thing is lots of space inside. Yay, you can put your fingers in there. Plenty of seats, not enough minifigures, but I'm sure you guys got plenty of minifigures. You can fill this whole bus up. Oh, well, you look at that, they advertised it, right? There are 16 seats on this bus. And there actually are, there's 17, including the driver's one. That's pretty good. And look at the doors, this is what I was talking about. Yeah, it's really weird how you open this thing, right? So it folds in together like that. It's like the doors are kissing each other. That's how you remember how to open and close this thing. I could probably be totally wrong, but anyway, that's what it looks like. When it's open, it's just enough space for the figure to go, yo, what's up, let's go inside the bus. And you want to close it again, you just kind of have to like line them up. See, that's really weird. That is kind of trippy. You can see on the inside the design how that works. They have these rubber pieces that's holding the door together. Yeah, could the door have been more secured? I'm not sure, it's working fine for me. It hasn't fallen apart. It's just kind of weird how it opens and closes. But look on the inside, it is fully tiled. Yes, they tiled everything. That is so cool. Thank you for that. And you have enough room here in the middle that you can line up more minifigures. They have a stand if your bus is full. So on the front here, the driver has a steering wheel and he's got like two, three, three, three gear shifting sticks here. And you got space next to him. That's just like for his personal belongings. There's no seat there in the real one too. I like the printed side on the front. It says Mong Kok, $8 to ride this bus, eight Hong Kong dollars, cheap. And here the green thing is where you drop the coins, old school style, when you ride the bus, put the money inside there. But of course the new system now, we use these things called octopus cards. You tap there and it's like an auto pay feature thing. Just so you guys know, once in a while you get a loose tile here and there, especially if you're putting the rooftop on and off constantly you know you just have to kind of push it back into place some of these are built from bottom up but overall it holds in place and it's perfectly fine they're trying you haven't seen it fall apart on me yet which is really really good so kudos to them for trying something really different and this is their biggest build set i hope that they do come out with more stuff here are the three figures for the mini bus and you got this guy in white he is the bus driver he looks like a football player maybe he's a football fan soccer fan he looks angry, he looks like he's gonna drive that bus real fast. Printing on him is very simple, by the way. He's pure white. The printing on his shirt is so small, I can't read what it says. Maybe you can see it on the camera. And I'm just gonna name someone randomly. This is Muck Domain 23 I will keep doing these videos. And I guess you're driving this bus to Poland. Greetings to you, drive carefully. And we got this punk looking guy riding the bus. Printing looks okay. It looks kind of like, it looks like it's painted on. He's ready to ride the bus. He's got a belt printed on there as well. That's interesting. Very simple smile, nice hair. And that is Barack Yilma, Yilmaz, Yilmaz, Barack, Barack Yilmaz. That is you. Thank you for liking the channel. I shall keep on going as much as I can. Finally got the girl in pink here. That's kind of an interesting shirt. I don't know if I would wear something like that or would want to see someone wear something like that. And her smile is kind of like smudged up there on her face, like scratched out, but maybe that's just my figure. And she's ready to ride on this bus as well. And this is Mabel Lau. Thank you so much, glad you enjoyed the tower video. Enjoy your ride. So this one by two tire that you're seeing is actually a sticker. There's two of them. Here's another one right there. It says octopus on them, but it's actually based on an octopus card which I have a real one here, which is huge. I gotta back out a little bit and go like this. There. It's almost the same, but it says octopus, not octopus. That's pretty cool. Once again, here's a 32 by 32 base plate. Break yours out and see if it measures well in your city or if it's too big or if it's too small. Who knows? Let's do this by length first. Look at that. It's pretty much more or less 
like 31 studs. It's almost 32. I mean, if I was to put this on directly to the base plate, yeah, it's like minus one, see? It's right there, so about 31 studs in length. And by width, you're looking at about, ooh, if I put it right there, right? 10 studs by width. Here's my one by four bricks. Break yours out too. Measure along with me from this piece here on the top of the sign. That is, oh, look at that, it's bending a little bit. 11 studs in height. So here are the figures inside the set just to show you guys the scaling and the space. Now for the driver, you do have to be careful for the steering wheel because they can adjust, the whole panel can rotate. So you want to probably lift that up. Put the driver inside like that. Sit his butt down, steering wheel back down, push his hand down, and you can put the roof on, it's fine. Now, unfortunately for the seats here by the window where the girl's sitting, it is really tight to push them on. If I take her out, you can kind of see like, it almost pushes on the wall here, like it wants to push this out a little bit. They will fit there, but it's a little bit tight. Probably could have been a little bit more room, but I think it's just, again, a design thing. They'll still fit in there. Nice bus. Could have used a little bit more work on the front. That's just me, like make it more refined. But it's a nice try from them. I think it's really good. Drop test, must die. Yo, no, oh no. Hey, it's pretty good. This height, how's this? Royal Toys, will you stand? Sure did. All right, so that's the Royal Toys mini bus. Now it's time to move on to the taxi. So this is Royal Toys Hong Kong Taxi. RT03, four, five, 238 pieces. One is 239, extra tile there. Why? Because the taxi actually comes in three different colors. So here's the boxes again. It's available on bringmeupscotty.com just to show you guys that you have three different colors. Is there a reason for that? Actually, yes, there is. Hong Kong has a couple districts, so these are all from different districts. So the most common one is the red one. These ones are actually selling really good. So everyone's buying these ones. You know, you're buying these sets because they're nostalgic. If you've been to Hong Kong, you know exactly what these are. And then you got probably the least known one, which is the blue one. Then you got the green one here, which is from the New Territories, which is where I'm from. So I decided to buy this one for myself. Just took it from the room and build it for you guys. So let's check it out, yeah? All right, first thing first, it does roll. The build on this is actually really different from other car vehicles that I've built from the Lego sets and the other brands. Is that good or bad? Mm, it's okay. This is really cheap, by the way. It's super small. Look how small it is compared to the bus. Man, look how small that is. It's so tiny, it should be like double the size. Anyway, what I don't like was the bottom here. It's not really super secure. So if you kind of like push it around or move it, the chairs might pop off on the inside and it might collapse a little bit. But once it's all like kind of there together, or we feel it not rolling, see like that, it kind of just stopped. You might want to go in there and like kind of push down here, push up here. Yeah, you gotta like adjust D, there goes one chair. And this is a small taxi. There ain't no excuse, man. They could have done a little bit better with this. Let's look at it from the front. The plate is tiled, surprisingly. It's not a sticker. It says RT5381 and taxi, four seats. So you know, it's a four seater and there's a hood, nothing underneath that hood. And you got the taxi sign there, which is printed. And on the side, the doors are printed too, except for the two stickers there in the front. And that sticker that kind of goes around the door handle, not my thing. I kind of wish they had more breathing room so you could put the sticker on nicely. It wraps around the door handle and that's really tight, man. But anyway, they tried. Yeah, they're trying. Those are the same kind of environmental stickers that you saw on the minibus. So it's not a bad taxi. It just could be designed a little bit better. There is a trunk back here. Check it out. It doesn't open up. Nice. And wait, wait for it. Wait for it. It's tiled on the inside. Thank you. It opens nice and smooth. Yeah, you can put some stuff in there. Very cool. I'm not too sure about this part being studded. Mm, maybe they should have put a spoiler on that thing to hide that. But, you know, me and studs, I wish it was flat. And on the back, it's also printed RT5318, taxi four seats. It repeats what it does on the front. It's just yellow on the back. That's about it. It's so tiny. It's so small. Look, it's in my hand. Do we need to drop test on it? I'd be surprised this one falls apart. You would do it like that. Oh, nope, nothing's fallen. Yeah, but look, it's not even wanting to roll now. So you got to kind of go back. Like I said, adjust the tiles. Yeah, now we're talking, baby. Now we're rolling. I don't quite like how they did the rooftop. I wish they can pull it off much easier. You can't, there goes another chair again. Because it flexes, it pops the chairs off. So we have to take off the rooftop like this. So you're pretty much taking the whole thing apart like that to put the chairs back in. The steering wheel's tiny on this thing. Nothing on the dashboard. I kind of wish they had like the speedometer there, but that's okay. At least that taxi sign moves up and down. I don't like how they use pillars. 
directly on the doors. If you apply too much pressure here, it could topple over. Like if I'm gonna put this figure inside the back sheet and you push down, oh look at that, it's separated. I kinda just wish there was a little bit more support, but if you're gonna use this thing as a display or you sit them in and you rebuild it, it'll roll just fine, like this. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 Yeah, got a nice convertible there. See, it's not all that bad. Just, just don't push too hard on that. And finally on the top here, you have the taxi sign, both sides. Those are stickers, by the way. But the good thing about this set, it comes with the taxi stand. It is really simple. It's a very simple plate, but I like how the signs are all pretty much printed on here. So you got the sign here that says NT Taxis. Like I said, that stands for New Territory Taxis. And then you got the sign that says Taxi Stand on the top and those are the Chinese words for it. And you got this bag here, this is like an extra accessory. Okay, one thing I didn't like about the bag was, I mean, it's just a brick, but man, these stickers for the handles, it's like stickers on both sides. Yeah, I don't know why they did that. You know it's gonna get dirty or it's gonna fold up and it's gonna suck, you're gonna break that. But anyway, it's a nice touch that they did add it in. Then you got the little cover right here, which is really simple, but it's kind of nice. It does kind of go well together when you put it side by side like that. I think it looks pretty cool. And underneath it says NCW16. I think that's just kind of like the location area. And I like the no smoking printed sign on there. That is actually just like the real thing. So there you go, simple stand. And of course, we have two minifigures. You have the old looking guy with, his, he looks like he's been driving for years. Look at the marks on his face. Printing looks okay. Nothing really special about it. I like how they put the belt on him. That's pretty neat. And that is Dotting Rumble. I'm glad you liked my commentary. I hope you enjoy driving this taxi. Please drive carefully. And you got the passenger who has a nice vest on, printed on there. And his hair is kind of the same as the other figure that we saw, just saw riding on the bus. Very simple smile. Do the eyes look different this time or is that me? I noticed you look happy being in this taxi. And that is Knives. Knives, nice build with the CN Tower. I hope it doesn't fall over on you. Enjoy your taxi ride. So there we go, the guys are back in the car. They look comfy, just fine. Enough headroom there. Not bad at all. Skedaddle. All right, you guys, you know what time it is. Dimension time, break out your 32 by 32 base plates. And yeah, we got two sets here. Let's move the taxi out of the way. Let's put the stand here so you guys can get a visual representation. And it's kind of obvious there. If I pull this here, that is six studs by width. And across it is 12 studs by length. Now, let's pull in the taxi here. We'll put the taxi somewhere here. Now, just as a guesstimation, it is around 19 studs by length, front to back. And by the width there, it is, uh, it's kind of around six, in between six or seven studs. So there you go. So break out your one by four bricks. That is eight, it's kind of obvious to see there for the stand. And it, look, it just barely fits on there. Oh, it's just barely, barely over that. So. At least you kind of know. And let's check the taxi. It's about six bricks in height. Yeah, it's more or less there. Close, but no cigar. So that's Royal Toy Taxis. Not the greatest, super small, it's cheap. And of course we come to the next one, which is the new stall. Check it out. So this is Royal Toy's new stall, RT10, 156 pieces. This is super small, it's really small. And here it is, right here. It's actually pretty cool and it really represents the local style newspaper stall here in Hong Kong. What's really neat about it is the details. Look at all the details. Unfortunately, 90% of that are all stickers. No, why? You have to be stickers. But the quality on these are actually pretty okay. So all the tiles that you see along the front here are actually newspapers that are based in Hong Kong, but they changed the wording around a little bit so it's not exactly the same. Yay, no copyright. So what you're seeing right now are all the tiles laid out here in slow motion. So you guys can actually see the newspapers and the magazines up close. There's a lot of detail in each tile, which is really great. Kudos for them for making these, even though they're stickers. And only this tile right here that says milk is tiled. And the calendar along the back, that calendar is actually really cool because that's exactly what an old school calendar is like here. It's a piece of paper, you just tear it off and you go to the next day. Then you have the magazines here along the front. It's kind of obvious which magazines they are, but of course they block the letters there, so you can't be too sure. And there's more magazines along the back. Those are obvious too. And those are really real magazines, but like I said, they just kind of reworded them around. And there's some cigarettes there. 
that's a sticker. You know, the back rack of the tiles is actually pretty neat. You can kind of pull the shelf out and adjust it so you can kind of angle it how you want it to angle, kind of give it a little bit more depth. And there's a sign up there. That sign is a print and it says new stall, basically. There really is no translation. A lot of these Chinese characters cannot be translated into English, but you kind of get the idea. This is a new stall. And then you got the colorful rooftop, but man, that thing is, it's just held by one stud. I kind of wish it had more support. The dangling lights, that's actually a really cool idea. It's kind of got an old school vibe to it. So underneath the stall, if you lift this piece up, there's two drawers right there and it opens up. There's nothing inside, but I guess you can put like the newspaper that you want to put away in here like that and close it up. Close up for the night. You can probably take off this milk carton and close it up even more, bend this down. And usually they kind of turn their stalls around and shut down for the night. So that is kind of neat. And it does come with a little umbrella here. Keep yourself shaded from the sun. Those are stickers along the top. And you got the guy on his chair. I blue tacked him, sorry. I was taking photos with him, smooth the blue tack there. But one of the reasons I did that was because there's no studs on the chair. So he can fall off pretty easy like that. You can sit him properly, he can sit there nicely, but very easy to knock off. You know, maybe that could have been a little bit better or had some studs there to hold him in place. And he is sitting next to this water cooler. It's, it's funny because this is actually like a, one of those, oops, I don't lose it. Oh, here it is, okay. This is just a post box. You open it up, put some drinks inside, and now it's an ice cooler. Good thinking. Simple, effective. You just can't close the top. And I can put two more extra bottles there. You got this table here with a couple tiles and another financial newspaper on top. And finally, you have two boxes here. They're fruit boxes. I like how they changed the name. One is Sun Kisk Orange, and the other one is Special, the World's Apples. That makes absolutely no sense. But you know, at least they're avoiding copyright. The new stall only has one minifigure and it's this old looking guy. Pants, purple, really? Maybe that should have been a different color, but his top looks fine. He looks like an ordinary guy. I like his reading glasses, yeah, and his mustache. This one has to be Nathan. Nathan's been buying all the royal toys. Congrats, man. Enjoy your new stall. I know you ordered one for me. Thank you so much. Keep selling those newspapers. Don't sell porn to the underage kids. All right, you guys, did I mention time for the new stall? Look at the base plate, man, it could cover the entire thing. But just to give you guys an idea, we don't really need to measure these guys, but at least for the stall, we go by width, we'll do it right here. It is about eight studs by width, kind of. Push these guys across, that is eight studs by length. And if I put it here on the base plate itself, you know, just to give you an idea, scatter this guy here, put him there. Yeah, now let's check the height. Here's my one by four bricks. It's kind of obvious, this is so small. It is eight bricks in height, or well, almost. It's just over, look, if I put it right there, it kind of pops up. But at least you have an idea. As for the rest of the guys, it's kind of obvious, you can see it visually there. Hope that helps you. Now let's get back to the video. You know what, that's more or less it. The colors, everything looks just kind of like a stall that you actually do see in Hong Kong, and I like that. And what's cool is you can actually take off all the newspapers Make that like a drink stall. Should we try that real quick? Now this is a little bit flimsy. If you want to take it off, you can take the whole thing off like that. Unfortunately, the minifigure can't really fit back here. He'll get stuck. You know, I can't put the plate here. It'll, it'll jab in there. Maybe you can extend that out a little bit more so you can fit inside the stall. Royal Toys, it would have been cooler if it just came out a little bit more and had a little bit more support on the side. And you can change up all the newspapers. I'm not even going to follow what order they came in. So like that. Put a couple of drinks here. Yeah, now we're selling apples and alcohol. Be sure you're old enough to drink. And he's selling his newspaper here. And that is it, it's pretty cool, yeah? So even though the stall is really small, I kind of do wish it was a little bit built sturdier. There's like some gaps here you see on the side and this tray thing that sticks out can pop off pretty easy. But overall, it's really nice. I mean, they got the look down for sure. And like I said, you're probably buying this more for the nostalgic feel and the prints are actually really good on the sticker. I do like that. It's just a little bit more fragile than usual. Don't move the awning too much or else it'll pop off. So there you guys go. The three sets are available on bringmeupscotty.com. Two more new arrivals just came. Look out for them on the store. Maybe I'll get to those later. I gotta work on more videos for you guys. So until next time, bring me up. Beep, beep. Hmm, size comparison for the bus. I have the Flintstones car here. No, it's more like closer to the taxi there. Let's see what else I got here. Oh, I got the Legos 
double-decker bus from the LEGO City line, not the London bus. I have the London Creator bus. I haven't built it yet. This is actually a really good set, by the way. I should review that soon, too. An unfair size comparison here. Yeah, like that. Or, you know, maybe the LEGO ambulance. Yeah, ambulance is about the right size of the taxi, actually. Like that, yeah. Very similar. But see, this is the thing. The ambulance is like really well built from the bottom up. Like it's gonna pop off. While the taxi will pop off and not roll properly, but you know. I'm causing a traffic jam here. This is like Hong Kong for real. We have a traffic jam. I know y'all been waiting for this one too. Yeah, Ashton Martin beats the minibus. Right, look at that. This thing is huge. Again, this is Creator. It's not for minifigure scale, but you can compare it to the Royal Toys bus. Man, this thing is big, huh? I'm Bond, James Bond. Launch. It's cool, I'm making my own little city road right here. They're all having a race with each other. Beep beep. Back up, move out of the way. Once again, Scotty's not here. Oh well, what are we doing here anyway? I don't know, dear. I'm getting tired of holding this sword, man. I'm dying to get out of the outfit too. Maybe we should go somewhere. We're gonna wait for a taxi? Yeah, but I haven't seen one for a while. It's taking so long. Wait, stop! Sorry guys, the taxi's full right now. You have to wait for the next one. Could be a couple of hours. Couple of hours? Couple of hours? Oh, hell no. You know what, dear? You're never gonna fit in the taxi anyway. You're right, Scotty. Looks a little bit crammed in there. You know what? I think there's a mini bus stop over there. Why don't we just go take a bus? Should be a lot bigger. Sounds good to me. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Dear, what are you doing over there? I'm getting drunk with a shop owner. This is so much fun. Don't drink too much. You know you're gonna throw up getting car sick. Whoa, look at all these papers. Help yourself, young man. Take whatever you want. It's all yours. I would if I could read Chinese. I can't read Chinese though. Dear, the bus is here. It's about to go. Let's get on it. All right, all right, all right, I'm coming. Whew, just made it. Lots of room on the bus. I wonder where this is gonna take us. I can't wait. Wow, there's a lot of room on this bus. I'm liking it already. Yeah, I can't really sit down though. This thing that I'm wearing, I have to stand. But I still have room in here. How cool is that? And plenty of room in the front to put my ninja sword. Yeah, that is kind of random. Man, this better not be a long ride. Scotty, where are we going? Dear, I wish I knew. I wish I knew.